Okay, have a seat. All right, well, I finished three of the canals. Um, I know that there is an MD2, just by looking at the root. Nice, I see that one. I visually see it. I visually see that one. It's a little short, millimeter. And are you having trouble finding patency in, in uh, this root? Because it's got concrescence. It's fused to the other yeah. root. So sometimes when two roots fuse and join, you never get patent. Yeah, that one I don't think I will. And so then, do you mind if I pull these out? No, 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 go right ahead. So this one, can you hand me that pen? So I don't screw it up. This is a maxillary molar, right? Yes. And you got a palatal. Yeah, and there's a. Uh, I just don't look, so I'm not. I don't always get. The, so this should be our palatal. Yeah. I think so. And this should be. If that was our palatal, this is our MB over here. You have good tug back. I like that. I'm pulling them out and I'm feeling resistance. And it's short, crisp tug back. And that's good tug back. Nice. So, this is our access. see what I was looking. I don't know if it. I should be an orifice and looking at the root. And I just couldn't see one. I don't know if I need to chase that. You want me to do a little something here? Yeah, I just don't know. I, I don't have enough experience, I just don't know. Don't worry. Do you mind if I just kind of smooth this up? I do what you want to do. So look in there and kind of memorize it, and I'll change it a little bit. Okay, I'm watching. I'm going to That's fine. I'm not going to go over here because you're, you're right in there. I don't think I need to. No, you don't need to. I, maybe I'll just smooth this a little bit right in there. Okay. You're not going to hurt my feelings, don't you worry. Okay, so I didn't do much. I'm just kind of <laughs> pimping you, but you're taking this class, so I really want you to... That's right. You know, your access wasn't bad. It's just that you were about three... You were about 30 seconds away from excellence. Okay. In other words, you, you're, you, got, you were like right there, but like most dentists, you're ready to go to the next step. And if you just r see how flat the walls are now? Yeah, I do. I mean, I didn't take all this out just to make, say I did, but I could have. Uh -huh. but, but anyway, more or less, that's a big flat table all the way across. This is flat, and then I didn't come around here, but I cleaned up your floor a little bit. Uh -huh. I run this diamond sometimes like this. Okay. I'm just. Yeah, what kind of... RPMs you use on that? Is it Just kind of okay. feather it. So when you're going into something like breaking contacts, knocking down the occlusion, you're full on. Yeah, but when you're doing a little floor work, it's just like, rawr, 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 rawr. and you can almost stall this out. Okay. But you're just taking a piece of sandpaper, you're a carpenter, and you're just doing a little finish job. Okay. Okay, so now back to the MB2 that we pretty much think we should find. Now, do you see this? Yeah, see that, see that I don't know. Like, my question was basically, can I go in here and just... When I see that line, that would make sense because we look at the x-ray and we go, well, we're not sure about it. But if you take a mesial film, you're going, God, it's a broad root. Oh, God, it's a really broad root. So broad roots usually have two canals. So when I see this groove, this is what I'm locked on to. And I also am aware that it could be breaking off internally. That's what I was... So what I want to do now is just explore that real quick, and then I'll do some steps. Yeah. Did Mom go to the Yes. I was trying to get back about probably about five ten minutes. Okay, I need a thin one. Thin. Diamond. And I'll drag that over. Learn to seat these. 
and then pull them out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. As long as they run centric, you're good, but it'll give you, it'll kick your handpiece further away from the occlusal table, the head. Yeah, so you're, you're we're not patient. like this, we're more, and then you can tip your patient's head so you can see the tip work. Okay. So working down in here, I have the impression there's something down in there. Got it? Yeah. I was telling her to hold that, and then I'm gonna start sounding. And sounding is I'm pushing much harder than you can imagine. Okay. But pushing to try to pop through a half a millimeter of translucent dentin to move into the orifice is way safer than trying to drill into the orifice. Yeah. So don't be afraid to say to the patient, you're gonna feel some heavy pressure. I'm not roughhousing today. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm just trying to find a really tough canal you brought me. Now that might be something right in there. It might be something right in there. So now that we have, okay, this is a fine file, Philly, but it's, I want a brand new one, so curved I can hardly get it in a sponge. So you still want me to keep it? Yeah, it's a good one. Curved files are good, they're just not good for starting. Got some debris, let's get that out of there. Did you ever make it to the end of this one? Oh, we've, okay. Yeah. Did, okay, so this one's about how long? About like that, roughly? Uh, 17, 18, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Did you, but did you I ever? I did this one before lunch. I was just, I was going to ask you. And it was kinda oh, there it is. Okay, so you did get through this one. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, so that's that one. So that one. painting on all three of the other canals. That's just fine. Very fine. Well, let's live a little bit on the edge. Just, I'm, yeah, like, so if I get something like this in practice, I'd be like pretty nervous to you know, trough it out all the way through here, but I, mean, I guess you gotta do that, right? No, I want you to be comfortable. If you miss a canal and the tooth fails, there's many things we can do to save the tooth if, you're, if you and the patient want. But if Cliff perforates and mutilates the tooth, shit, you know, it's like, get it out, it's, there's not, you know, it's, it's yeah. like I had a perf repair and I still haven't found the tooth, the canal. Yeah. So I think you just kind of weigh risk versus benefit. And if you're comfortable, then you're comfortable, you can go a little more. But if you start to feel like, God, I don't know where I am, and I've taken a film and shit, I'm kind of losing my way, maybe that's enough. So here's the floor where our feet are sitting. This is an orifice, this is an orifice, this is the floor of the pulp chamber. Yeah. When you find an orifice here, and one here, and one here, this one isn't 10 miles down or 10 miles up. It's usually on this plane, and you either gotta go lateral. Okay. Danger is, is the furcation, <laughs> so stay lateral. So I'm, I'm gonna go out a little bit lateral, but you know, you have a big broad root, but I'm not so certain you have two canals, do you? No, I'm not, I'm not sure. In fact, do you see any openings, do you see any POEs. openings, POEs on this root that would suggest that? No. Now we wouldn't be able to do this clinically. So, <laughs> so we would still think we better rule out an MV2, right? That's what Ruddle would think. So what I would do is, I don't do heroics, but I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna just take this back a little bit. But you notice I'm staying to the outside? I'm not coming this way. I'll take this. We gotta start bringing uh, those little. I have some smaller ones. Do you? They're just not that good for doing most of the. Okay, now now that I did that, I can see a groove again. Mm -hmm. And I can see it kind of coming up here like that, and then it stops. Yeah. 
But there is a catch right there. It's a teaser, isn't it? Those are teasers because they make you want to keep trying. Mm -hmm. I don't know that you have one. Okay. I mean, this is just like glass and I see that line, but there's no stick. Yeah. And at the bottom, there's a little bit of a stick, but nothing starts. And then when I, before I came over here and started muddling around your tooth, I could take a file, slide it down here, and I was over go, here. Right I could come here room. and I could come out over here. So I think you probably had a big broad root yeah. that's about this wide. So the internal configuration is quite yes. elongated mm -hmm. to reflect the root. But I think it was a sheet, like a flag. Yeah. So I'm, pr I'm pretty happy just to shape it and pack it. Okay. If you want to, you know, learn, hell, when you're done today, just cut right through the damn room. I mean, if you want to just do a post-mortem. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. I think, I think it's pretty clean. Okay, me too. And I like your access. I, oh, these are your cones. Yeah. Sure, take them.